All right, can you see me? Or at least my hands, anyway. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry for the late start. Um, I was in the process of, you know, for some reason, my internet wants to do everything slow, and I was uploading videos, and I wanted to make sure they got done, because obviously if I would have stopped to, to like, start the live stream, it would have made the live stream lag, and it would have made me start it all over again. So, unfortunately, I had to wait an extra half hour, and then plus, after it was uploaded, I had to, I got it uploaded, you know, shortly after that, um, after 9 o'clock, but, or 9.30, but um, I needed to put all the information in after that. So it was a hot mess. You know what I'm saying? It was a hot mess. I'm going to try to remove this, but every time I do, I end up wrinkling my desk, wrinkling this stuff, which is driving me insane. Um, and I've got burlap all over my desk still from making the ornament that I made earlier today. So how are you guys doing? Doing good? Hi Shell, hi Christy, hi Deborah, hi Kelly, hi Emily. Um Hello to everybody. Hi Katherine and Dana and Oh, I have to see if I have gesso. I don't have gesso. I have other gesso. Let me get another gesso out because mine, I still haven't remade it yet. Here we go. I got some right here. Gesso from Deco Arts that I never even used. I don't use, I try to use my, my homemade stuff and save this stuff that I got from when I was in the helping artist program thing. I save that stuff for when I run out of my other stuff like I did. Um, I need a brush. Ooh, my brush is still sitting in the water from when I was doing the last thing I was doing. That's not a good thing, is it? It is uploaded to YouTube, but right now it's unlisted because um, YouTube is being a snot and they demonetized it. So I'm trying to wait for them to see if they'll review it and see if I can get it, but I can, I'll, I can send you the link. I mean, it's just unlisted, but so just, I'll send you the link after the, after the live stream. I just, uh, pain in the, but I'm trying to wait for them to, to do their thing. If they can do their, th dang it. I had to get this on me right now. I've got gesso all over me. Glad I don't wear anything important when I craft. That's a tip for you kids. As I clean off myself and take off my sweater before I end up with stuff all over me. Um, but yeah. I saw your message. I said I have time to respond to it because I was in the middle of this uploading video debacle trying to fix everything and make everything work like it's supposed to. This gesso is pretty nice, I think. This deco art gesso. It's a little container, but it's pretty nice. They should have made it in a bigger amount than that. You know, make gesso in buckets. <laughs> People need, you know, large amounts of gesso. I mean, I'd rather just make my own, but from what I see, it's pretty nice. I've never used it before. I just hadn't gotten around to it so many other things that I was and I had my of course my homemade gesso I concentrate on that just because I love my homemade gesso it's my favorite I just like that I can make it however I want it if I want it to be really opaque I can add a lot of white paint if I want it to be really thick I can make it really thick you know get this part over with all right
Yeah, I do too. I, you'll always see me in this gray t-shirt or a black t-shirt or I have long, a, two long sleeve pajama tops. <laughs> That's what I wear. Actually, I have four long sleeve pajama tops. Um, two of them I don't wear quite as much because they're a little warm. But yeah, I always wear these dirty old ratty t-shirts, especially if I'm going to craft. But mostly because I, I usually would wear them to bed. Um, but now they've turned into craft shirts, and I still wear them to bed if I'm too lazy to take it off when I go to bed. I mean, you know. Oh, all right. It dries pretty quick, too. It's almost dry. Well, just so generally dries quick anyway. When you say your own, is it... You made it, elephant nightgown. That's cool. And hi, Lucinda. It was your birthday the other day, and I didn't get to sing to you, so I get to sing to you tonight. And how are you feeling, by the way? and has been in the hospital because did, did you say you had hip replacement or hip something or other uh, did you break your hip I don't know what it, I don't remember but um, she's been in the hospital now she's in a rehab um, getting better and um, it was her birthday the day that she was in, one of the days she was in the hospital a couple days ago and I'm going to sing her happy birthday I swear, if it wasn't for that L-tyrosine stuff that I'm taking, I, I would not be able to, I wouldn't have been able to do like a couple of videos lately, like because that stuff gives me energy. It's helping to make up for the lack of energy that I've been having because of my iron, which by the way, I have to have another iron infusion tomorrow. I almost forgot about that. Ugh. Which means I have to take Chris to work and a big debacle. Hi, Nancy. Hi to everybody else that's come in. Hi, Jamie. I didn't see you before. Sorry. Um, is it okay if I sing you happy birthday, Lucinda? Let me know. Because I don't want to do anything you don't want me to. Oh, this isn't completely dry yet. Pauline. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Laura. Hey, Emily. Well, I will, but I want to make sure she, uh, Lucinda's okay with that because, you know, it's, I don't want to embarrass somebody because some people get really embarrassed and they don't like it. So I want to make sure she's okay with it first. I don't want to put anybody on the spot or embarrass anybody. <clears throat> That's why I usually ask first because, you know, some people get embarrassed and they don't like it. It gives them anxiety to have their, you know, something like that. So I just want to make sure. But it's okay. What do you mean, did I see you? I said hi, Sharon, didn't I? Well, hi, Sharon. If I didn't, sorry. I apologize. Uh -huh. I see Anita's in here and Elizabeth and, and Irely. Hi, from Louisiana. Hello, back from Tennessee. And Adriana. Did Lucinda leave? Oh no, I hope she didn't leave. Maybe she left. Well, if she comes, oh, there you are. Lucinda, are you able to hear me? Um, 
Can I sing happy birthday to you, Lucinda? Hi, Joyce. Hi, Little Crafts and Mandy. And, and I said hi to Anita and Karen. Hi, Karen. And Pauline. Danina's on the freeway. <laughs> Hi, Danina. Hi, Wanda. Hi, Rome. Yeah, no driving and YouTubing, Danina. Hi, Debbie. Oh, cool, Debbie. Good. Awesome. I know I was late in getting some friendship hands out. I made a bunch. I sent out the ones that I was supposed to send out, and then I kept sending more out, but I had packages. Like, my packages end up backing up, so it takes me a while to get them out. So that was from, like, a month ago. <laughs> I apologize if anybody gets a happy mail a little late for me. Hi, Sean. I'm not sure if Lucinda is able to hear me uh, because she hasn't answered me at all. I don't know whether she's behind or I don't know. You just got back from California? Awesome. Okay, um, let's get started. Let's pick Vintage Ephemera. Awesome. I've got some music paper over here because I was doing some stuff with music paper. Um, here we go. Here's a piece. I'll use this. other paper that I can use. I'm in surround sound. Oh goodness. Who's Mike? Mike's health declined. Who's Mike? Who's Mike? Oh, is that your, your, uh, sorry, I, I didn't know by name, but is that your, um, the, the friend or whatever that was in the hospital? Fresh my memory. People tell me every day stuff that I, it all gets clumped together, and I apologize. I know that you had, I think it was you that had somebody that was in the hospital or sick or something. I try to keep track of everybody that, everybody's illnesses and everything that's going on, but when there's 1,500 people and about, you know, between my illnesses of not and, and not being able to remember anything and everybody else's, I can't. I just am horrible at remembering what what which person had which thing going on. I'm surprised I remembered it was Lucinda that was in the hospital only because I just see I I, I see her post pretty frequently. It sucks that there's so many sick people sick people or people that know people that are sick or whatever it gets all confusing 
All right, I had a book over here somewhere. Where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. I don't want to make sure she can hear me. She said no. Maybe she doesn't want me to sing to her. I don't know. I will wait until I get a an answer or not. I just want to make sure she can hear me. This is a vintage um, encyclopedia. Let's see if there's anything in here. It's no color whatsoever. Except for that. Oh, there's color. There we go. Just hoping to find a little color. Let's use that page. Oh, so it is your friend. Okay. And he's not doing, he's doing worse. I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. Oh, tell her to refresh her page. Tell her to refresh her page. I had a feeling she couldn't hear me. That's what I was like wondering why she was never answering me. I'm like, I bet you she can hear me. Just have this feeling. <laughs> yeah, just tell her to text her or message her or, on the, or chat with her in the thing and tell her to re tell her to refresh her page. Because she might have... Good deal, good deal. Oh, that's good, Lucinda. Are you able to hear me now? Did somebody tell her to refresh her page if she can't hear? Let me know when you can hear me, Lucinda. Glue everywhere. Glue everywhere. Oh, let's hit this with the heat gun. Hi, Ray. Okay, thank you, Mandy. Awesome. Hopefully, she'll be able to hear me shortly.
Oh, good. You can't hear me. So, Lucinda, let me know. Is it okay for me to sing you happy birthday? Let me know. Hi, Rita. We're doing mixed media mashup, and that's where I pick cards out of a stack, and we do whatever is on the card. So right now it says vintage ephemera, so I glued a bunch of vintage ephemera down. So if you want to join in, grab a piece of you know paper or uh, cereal box or any old thing, and right now we're putting vintage ephemera on it. So if you have any vintage music paper or magazines, or even if you don't, just grab magazines or ephemera. If you don't have vintage, it doesn't have to be vintage. Just grab whatever you got and start gluing it down. Who's working with me tonight? And I don't see Kendra in here. Um, she might be maybe sleeping or taking a nap because I know she's not feeling good. So... Is there anybody else that wants to write down what cards I'm using? Maybe Tracy, because I know you'll be here probably. Tracy or Jamie um, want to write down the cards. Um, and then, or you know what? I'll do it. it. I can do it. Let me get a, just get a piece of paper. I can do it. This way I can type them up and put them in. find my paper. Here it is. Here it is. Here we go. I'll do it. This way I don't have to book you guys to do it. Because you guys might not. I don't know if you'll stay the whole time. I don't know. So the first one is vintage ephemera. Okay. Oh, she is here. Oh, you are here, Kendra. I didn't see. I didn't see you. You were quiet. <laughs> well, then you can have your job if you want it. <laughs> she did such a. She does such a good job writing everything down, and then putting it in the group in a file so that you can go back and see if you missed, you know, and you don't feel like watching the video all over again. You can just get the prompts and work on them. Sorry, Kendra. Sorry, ma'am. Vintage Ephemera is the card that we just did. Vintage Ephemera. But if you don't have vintage, just use Ephemera. Don't fuss. You have a snoring man next to you? Kick him with your feet off the bed. All right. Does anybody need me to not pick the next card yet? Because I'm going to pick it. Unless somebody says not to. I'm just making sure everything's dry. Looks like everything's dry. Oh, you're finishing up your waterfalls? <laughs> oh, that's cool, Debbie. Yeah, you know, I thought about doing an advent calendar this year. Um, about making one. But then I was like... And then I, I just like... I don't know. I just decided not to do it, but I th actually thought about doing it. Yeah, Kendra's awesome about that. She came up with that idea to do that, and that was smart. Awesome. Lucinda said I can sing her happy birthday. Then that's what we will do. Everybody's got to sing along. And I need a sip. <laughs> All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lucinda. Happy birthday to you and many more and feel better and get out of the hospital please 
Happy birthday. Happy, a little bit belated birthday, but that's okay. Oh, you met the activity director today? Did they direct the activities? <laughs> they have an activities director in a rehab? Huh. Did they do crafts? Oh, did you guys see? I made that. I put the video up. That's what I was fighting with on my way getting mixed media mashup done, but there's beads at the bottom and this is my mixed media. This one's up in my Etsy shop if anybody would be interested, but um, it's got this little crinkled bow right here that's got really pretty little jingle jangles. You're welcome. You are welcome. All right, let's pick another card. Acrylic paint. We can do that. We can do acrylic paint. Um, do I want to do Christmas colors because I still have to do some more postcards. So yeah, why not? We'll do some. I have them right here anyway, so we might as well do some acrylic colors. Acrylic colors? Christmas colors because it is Christmas time and I do need to finish my postcards, especially for my Patreons because I am late in getting them out. Hi, Carol. Thanks, Debbie. We can pick some red. I like red. That wasn't enough red, but. Come on, I'm not, I can't be running out of you already. I think you're just stubborn. some blue. I'm not going to cover the whole page in, in, in paint, just certain parts. Different green. Yeah, I have this kind of green. Let's do the darker green. Try this a minute.
Kelly. If you do, don't forget it comes with free DNA because I had to in order to get in order to get one of the little um, uh, little stringy things through the hole. I had to put give it a little saliva. <laughs> so I wiped it off, but I think it'll still be there. You see, get some of my DNA. <laughs> Red is not very opaque for some reason. So I have to go over it twice. That's good. That's good. I'm not covering the whole thing this time. What does that mean, Danina? You're not going to hang out with us anymore? <laughs> Hi, Tammy. Hello, fairy tales. I'm good. How are you? Hi, Elizabeth. I love the art doll you're making, Elizabeth. I love the first one you made, and now the second one you're making. I love that, too. That's awesome. I haven't made an art doll in a long time. I really want to make one. I'll have to get on that. Maybe if I get ambitious in December, I'll make like an art Christmas fairy doll or something. We'll see. I also I also decided I want to make um, a shabby chic Christmas journal. I decided that as I was making my, well, I wanted to make one a couple years ago and then I never got around to it. But as I was making this, I decided, okay, you know what? I want to do some other shabby chic Christmas stuff. I've also got some other really cute boho Christmas stuff coming out too. That's going to be a lot of fun and really cute. Um, yeah. So stay tuned for that. Because at least, even though Halloween, I was sick for part of Halloween and didn't get to do all the things I wanted to do for Halloween because, of course, I was in the hospital and then I was moving rooms and everything was going on. Now that I'm a little more settled and I'm going to be feeling better because of the iron infusions and such, um, I should be full force for Christmas and hopefully able to get more things out because I know I haven't gotten a ton of videos out besides the ones I got out today. Um, but I'm hoping to get more out because I don't want to just do live streams because, I, I, you know, that's a lot of people that started watching my channel from day one watched it because of my videos and, and they don't want to, not everybody wants to sit and watch a, you know, two, three hour live stream. So <clears throat> especially c considering I started my channel making videos, so I don't want to forget that. And, you know, and I don't, I prefer, I, I like to make videos, uh, um, so it's just lately with not feeling good, I couldn't, doing both was a lot at the time. And I wanted to continue my live stream so that nobody would get mad. And I, at least I had some interaction with everybody a couple times a week. Hi, Melissa. How you doing, girl?
Oh, sorry to hear that, Sandra. I hope everything works out. This is what I mean. Everybody, there's so many people that have so many illnesses. It's It sucks. I hate to see all these. I hate to see it. Like, you know, because it makes me sad to think that, you know, so many people are not feeling good or sick or, you know, have these chronic illnesses or have to get all these treatments and this, that, and the other. It's hard to, you know, stay positive. But, you know, sometimes you just, you have to. Otherwise, you'd go insane. All right, next card. Use household stamps. That means I gotta dig them out. I gotta dig them out. Well, I hope everybody in 2018 is healthier and happier than they were in 2017. That's for damn sure. All right, is that the basket? No, that's not it. I I decided when I moved into this room to start putting everything in these. Uh, what are they? Shoe boxes? Plastic shoe boxes? So, that's what I've been doing. I've been putting everything in plastic shoe boxes. And it's helpful, but I've probably got 50 plastic shoe boxes around the room. I've got them all on a shelf over here above, like, over on that side of my desk. There's, like, at least 30 of them on that shelf, just piled up with stuff. But it's, oh, it's easier to organize and keep everything in specific boxes. And I need to get organized because I want to use this. Who gave this to me? Oh, God. I know you're probably in here. Who just gave this to me? Oh, my goodness. I can't remember. Somebody just gave this to me. My brain is drawing a complete blank. But what else is new? I can't think. Sorry. I apologize. Mm, let's see. Somebody will tell me because I know you're in here, I think. It's on the tip of my tongue. I know who gave it to me, but I can't think. Man, that's right. Man. Thank you, Janie. See, you knew that. Man gave it to me. That's right. Because I knew I just got it. And I knew that it probably, yeah. Yeah. Man, man, man. That's right, because didn't you get one too? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you got one. Yeah. I looked up just as I saw you and said that. Just as I said, you said, I have one too. <laughs> yeah, oh, there's my white paint. I was looking for my white and black paint. But yeah, I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. I forget. And I seen that, like, like oh, well, write their name on it and that's almost impossible when it's something like this how do you write their name on it because i'm probably not going to put it back in this thing because i'm probably going to use this for something else because i thought this was cool um so i don't know how to write somebody's name so i don't forget that's the problem like <laughs> some things i guess you could but i'm just really bad at Ooh, that's cool. That is definitely cool. Let me go open the door for Chris because I just heard him. Hold on. You got the door? Just leave it over there. Tigger, will you let him out? Okay. 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 
Sorry, guys. Look what I just got. Don't yell at me. <laughs> I got moon cookies. Shh. Shh. I haven't had them in a while, and I just needed some chocolate and some. Look at that. <laughs> I better eat and stamp. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It was given to me in a happy mail. And as I fill my face with cookies, I'm glad Secret's not here. She'd yell at me. Hmm. <laughs> oh, moon cookies. How I've missed you so. <laughs> oh, gunpowder. I knew it said something gun, but I was like confused. I thought, well, I can't hold bullets. Those are too tiny. Oh, you're having a Friendsgiving, Sean? That's what I used to do every year. We call it the Orphans Thanksgiving. Because all my friends who either their parents were like really far away and they couldn't go see them or their family or whatever, they would come to my house. Hmm. Moon cookies. Mm -mm -mm. They are so stinking good. If I had, if I was going to have a last meal, that would be it. Just give me a box of moon cookies and leave me alone. <laughs> well, if you haven't tried them yet, you don't know what you're missing. Go to Trader Joe's right now and go get you some. I'll even let you leave the live stream. Just go get you some of those because I promise you, you will. You will never want anything else but the moon cookies. These are like little snowflakes. Snowballs. I'm just using up the white paint, really. And then we can do other things. Let's just put everywhere. I have a thousand things of, of, of um, bubble, bubble wrap, but I still use this one, like one piece. Here's another one. I've got several, but I always clean it off like as if I don't have any more. Like I couldn't just throw it away, but that's the, that's the frugalness in me. Not to waste anything. I think I should have another cookie. What do you think? I think so. I better do it before a secret gets in here. Because she, you know, don't tell her if she comes in here. She's not to know that I had moon cookies. I need somebody else to get moon cookies because you guys don't know. You don't understand. You don't understand the love until you've had them so somebody one of you need to go to trader joe's right now and go get some moon cookies and share it with me the delight of these cookies i mean they're soft thick chocolate and vanilla mm -mm -mm. like you just don't you just don't know what you're missing This mat I have a love-hate relationship with. It's a great mat. Right now I'm hating it because I must have laid it down wrong. But anyway, it's called the Best Craft Mat Ever by Ken Oliver. And when I laid it down and put all my, like you can see, all that, that shelf, 
as I crack my camera, this shelf here that's hanging all this stuff and goes up. Um, and then this stuff all behind it, the drawers and whatnot. When I laid all that stuff on the mat, I must have done something where it didn't sit straight. And unfortunately, this mat is thin, but it's rubbery, but it still get it buckles all the time and it gets on my last nerve. It didn't do that on my other desk, so I'm assuming it's because I laid it down wrong. All right, no more moon cookies for now. Let's see, what other household stamps can I use? I've got that one. Oh, I do have Christmas tree. Where is it? I think I put it with my Christmas stamps. I have a foam, I'm using foam stamps, not household stamps necessarily, but that's okay. Here it is, tree. Christmas tree. Snowflake, candy cane. Let me use these. I like this tree the best. Better than that one. We'll do some. What do you need? Oh, okay. Did you let Tigger out already? Okay, and he can come back. There he is. Okay. Yeah, go sit in your chair. No, you're not getting anything from me because I know Daddy gave you a cookie already. So you're not getting another one. All right, sorry guys. All right. Anyway, let's see. Let's do. I wonder if the metallic blue would show up. Oh, you know what? I think the light green would show up better. No, I didn't move, Debbie. I moved my... I decided that I'm going to be staying in my house for the time being. And I just... I moved my craft room from the room that it was in to what was my master bedroom that I don't use. I never really... Well, I used it when me and Chris were together. But then after that, I started... When I'm, I had arthritis and all that, I started sleeping on the couch because it was just more comfortable for my arthritis and my back and stuff so so yeah I uh, I moved in here oh I did I just moved that that was really smart that's okay that's leaving marks that's all that matters so what like I'm I started moving in here, what, a month ago? And it's much bigger because the other room was 11 by 10, well, it's like 10, 10 and a half by 11 and a half, something like that. I always used to say 12 by 10 or 12 by 11. Um, and this room is 17 by 17, so it's huge. However, I managed to fill up this room very quickly all my stuff in the other room was so cramped and it was so jammed in that it didn't have any room to breathe and at least now even though it's very full in here still I have room to breathe so let's not waste this paint I got these at the creative reuse. Um, some of them I had to repair because the foam was coming off, so I had to restick it. Like this one, I had to repair a couple of these little dots that are on here and stuff. 
Yeah, if you look up foam stamps, you should be able to find them. I think if you go to, um, what's the name of that place? Uh, Oriental Trading, is it? They have, don't they have foam stamps? Let's see, let me dry that a little bit and then we'll add something else. <laughs> Britalicious. Very carefully. I, I, I have, I, it's impossible for me to keep up with every comment that comes through. I try to look up as often as I can and answer questions, but if I sat here and just focused on the comments, I'd never get anything done. And I don't want to have like, you know, and I've had people like ask me, oh, I can't do live streams because I can't keep up with the chat. Well, don't worry about the chat. You know what I mean? You can't worry about the chat excessively because otherwise, you won't get anything done. You'll get sidetracked and the video will be too, the live stream would be too long. People will get bored and yada, yada, yada. Cause most, I mean, I'm a craft channel. So people come in here and they want to see me creating something, but interacting as well. So I do the best I can to balance the two because that's the only way you can really do it um, without ending up stopping for five minutes and talking and stopping for 10 minutes and talking, which is fine if you do it that way. But I mean, most people do a balance when, you know, most, most people I've ever seen, they do a balance of chatting and crafting in a way where they don't have to stop crafting for more than a minute. You know what I mean? I don't like to stop for more than a minute, but I do try to look up, look up at the chat as much as I can and try to pick out. And that's why it's good that if you uh, write it in all caps, I can see if you're talking to me. You don't have a creative reuse in, on Long Island or in North Carolina? I find that to be hard to believe. Here, here's where I'm going to stop for a second. <laughs> because I want to look at something first. I bet you, let me look. Have you, what, what did you look up, um, Melissa, when you looked up? Uh, when you looked up a creative reuse. Okay, there's a place um, in Long Island City called Material for the Arts. I'm just finding that now. Have you seen that? They have classes. They have stuff. Um... See if this is, I'm going to give you the link. Hold on, I can't see what the chat is saying while I do this, but I'm going to give you the link. Um, this is for Melissa. This is for a creative reuse place in, it says Long Island City. I don't know if that's the same as Long Island. I think it's, oh, it's, what do you mean? How far away is it from you? Because sometimes you got to drive like an hour. Oh, it's, it's expensive to, do. Oh. I, I, there's got to be some in New York that you, I mean, you might have to drive an hour, but you know, if you're, if you're saving that much money, you know, I don't know, but you know, sometimes you got to drive an hour, even if you have to drive two hours. Um, I, I see, I personally wouldn't mind driving two hours if, see you later, Lucinda. I wouldn't mind driving. Yeah, see, see, I don't mind that kind of drive as long as I go there like once every couple of months and I know that I'm going to get, you know what I mean? Like as much as I can get, you know what I mean? Like that's fine by me. Like I don't mind. I know other people might mind, but see, on my mindset, I don't care. I don't mind that type of thing. Um, 
Luckily, I don't have to, but if I did, I wouldn't care, you know. Oh, that's cool, Debbie. Oh, I, I've, I've been in Long Island traffic. You'd hate Nashville traffic, too. <laughs> because here, they aren't set up for traffic. They never did set up for traffic in, in Nashville. And Nashville's traffic, it's, you know, it's insane. It's not like New York City's traffic, but it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I used to have to sit in it all the time for hours because unfortunately this this city was not meant for the amount of traffic that it got especially recently with the people kind of flooding to the Nashville area lately um past couple of years it's been like it's been crazy how many people are trans you know transporting here But, yeah. yeah, like if I want to get from, Nashville's only 30 minutes away. Um, if I want to get from Nashville to home, it's only a 30 minute drive. It takes me an um, hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes most days. And that's just to go literally 30 minutes. Ridiculous. Because everybody's commuting up to where I where I, in the area I am. Yeah, New York City. Yeah, I don't even. I've I've driven in New York City many 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 times, and I hate it. I usually would take prefer to take the train in whenever I would go to New York City. Um, but there was times when younger and stupider where I would be like oh we could drive in New York City and then I drive there and be like stuck in traffic all day and then I got smart and took the train <laughs> so we used to take the train to the, to the city all the time I wouldn't do that again I wouldn't drive again to New York yeah New York Chicago that's a totally different monster Nashville's bad but it ain't that bad Washington, D.C., that's another one that's bad. Atlanta's really bad. These are all things... I've driven in so much different traffic over the years. Oh, so are you going to be moving it to North Carolina permanently to your farm? That's the plan, I guess. I think I remember you saying that. When does that take place? Should we do some candy canes? Maybe we'll do some in gold. Actually, do I have regular gold? Yeah, let's do regular gold. Yeah, Phoenix traffic is bad. I've been there too during traffic, but I think Nashville's is worse than Phoenix, to be honest. I've been to Phoenix with my niece and we sat in traffic a couple of times and it was nowhere near what it is here. She was like, oh, the traffic's really bad. I'm like, come to Nashville. This is nothing. Because <laughs> we had gotten stuck a couple of times in rush hour traffic from going our little excursions while I was there. Yeah, I didn't find it as bad as it is here. 
but there are a lot of places that are worse than here that's for sure so i'm at least thankful it's not as bad as it is in like new york city or one of the major big 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 cities no thank you Yeah, I, Chicago traffic is probably worse than New York City's big time. Um, Chicago's bad. And I haven't driven it. My sister used to live in Chicago. And from the things that she told me, that I, I, I think it's probably worse than like a New York traffic. It's bad. Um, I wouldn't want to live there. No, I know. Atlanta, Atlanta's awful too. Atlanta is awful. Um, I think Chicago's the worst, then New York City, and then I think Washington, D.C., then Atlanta. And I know L.A.'s traffic is probably worse than Nashville's, but after that, I would say Nashville's traffic after L.A. I know L.A. is up in the top, but Nashville's pretty bad. Any major city is going to be bad, but here they weren't equipped for the traffic and everything is so confusing when you drive here because it veers off in different directions and so people get so confused especially if they're not from here and they don't do it all the time and they end up causing traffic jams because they don't know where they're going and here if you don't know where you're going ahead of time you're screwed and that's the sucky part and that's what they need to work on here is these these highways here are ridiculous and it's the reason that the traffic exists here the way it does All right. I'm not a fan of traffic. I do everything I can to not. And when I used to clean houses, I used to be in it every single day. Yeah, I said household stamps. I don't know. Maybe you missed that one. Use household stamps. Sorry. I don't know if you, if it was being weird when I did that, because I seen that my internet was being a little weird earlier, so it might have been. My internet here hates me. Oh yeah, Boston's pretty bad too, Mary. I've been up there as well. What, buddy? What do you want? Look at this. This is insane. He's, he's going to move as soon as... No, he's not doing it now. He's sitting pretty. What do you want? You already went outside, and now you're going to... All right, fine. You get one of your treats. Watch out. Move. You got to get out of my way or else I can't get it because I got stuff in the way. All right, you can have one of your... You can have your flea treat. How about that? Because you're due for that. So we'll do your flea treat, and then you need to go lay in your... You need to go lay in your in your chair. All right, old man. That's it. You got your flea treat. He thinks it's a treat, but it's actually it keeps the fleas away. That's it. I have nothing for you, buddy. 
I'm in the middle of a live stream. Okay? You want to come up here and say hi? Come on. We go. All right. He wants to say hi. All right. You need to sit still, buddy. Sit still. Sit still. You want to get up here? Fine. Get up here then. Tigger's turn. You need to sit here then. All right. Stinky. Don't drink or eat anything, okay? And give mommy hugs. And give mommy hugs. Not oh, nosy. Hey, nosy. Sorry, Ticker wants some camera time. Focus. There we go. Come here. You gonna come give mama hugs? You gonna lay down? You gonna make yourself comfortable? No, don't lick my face. Lay down. Come on, lay down. Lay down and rub your belly. Lay down and rub your belly. Not that way. This way. Lay down. Lay down and rub your belly. Lay down and rub your belly. Stop smelling everything and lay down. Come on. Lay down and rub your belly. What? Look up here. What's this? Tigger, what's this? What's this? What's up here? You say hi to everybody? You gonna lay down so I can rub your belly? Nosy. It's just nosy nosy. He's smelling everything. Do you mind? I'm in the middle of a live stream. Do you want your belly rubbed? Come on. You want your belly rubbed? You need to lay down. Come on. Over here and lay down. You're just going to ignore me? Come here. Come here. Lay down. Sit. Lay down. Lay down. Come on. Down. 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 Come on. What is your problem? Lay down. Go ahead. Lay down. He's like halfway down. You're so weird. Let me rub that belly. I know you want that belly rubbed. Right? You a good boy? Can I have kisses? Can I have kisses? Thank you. Gross. All right. Is it time to get down so I can do my live stream now? Come on. Let's go. He's ignoring me and moving his head away from me as if, like, I, you don't see me, Mommy. I'm not here. Right? You ready to go? He's being a statue. Like, please don't let me down. Please don't let me down. If, you, if you're wondering if you have a creative reuse in your area, just look up your area, like your county your state and put in your state and then put in creative reuse and it should come up sometimes there's places that have directories of creative reuses where are you going all right come here i know you don't want to go but you gotta go buddy okay you made my desk all messy sorry for the interruption but tigger decided he needed tigger time he needed tigger time camera time i mean Anyway, now that that's dry, let's move on to another card. Add hearts. Hmm. Add hearts. Okay, I have a heart punch. And I can add hearts. If I can find my heart punch, that'll make it a little easier. Somehow I gotta reorganize my punches because now that I dug out more of them, put them over here. They're a hot mess. There it is. Found it. And I need like a better place to store them. I think what I'll do is take whoa, I made a mess over here. Tigger made a mess over here. It's Tigger's fault. Um where is it? In here maybe. Wrong place. Whee. Let's see, I've got them there. That. 
And we'll just make hearts out of random papers that I've got. If you don't have a heart punch, I can show you how to make a heart very easily. I'm sure you know this. If you take a piece of paper and you cut a square out of it and you kind of fold it in half and then cut from the bottom a half of a heart, you can just do a I'm sure you know this as a kid we did this and then there you go you can make a bunch of hearts that way and I'll even put this on there but if you have a punch then yeah obviously obviously it's easier to use a punch and fling them at you some of these down what's nice about not doing it with a punch and doing it by hand is you get different sizes and different shapes of hearts they're never the same which is kind of cool kind of cool you have your own store Rita that's pretty cool I always dreamed of having my own store, but nowadays with being sick all the time and whatnot and whatever, it's probably not the best idea. I think I want some more of these. More of these little guys. No, I'm talking about a real store, not just the crap that's in my room. I'd love to own a creative relief store, but you don't make any money doing that. That's something you have to do because you volunteer to do it, which is fine, but I need to make money. I can't just do that. I definitely need to make some money. Now, in the spring, I'm going to, uh, hopefully, I'm assuming I'll be feeling much better. And uh, right after, you know, like probably in March, I'm going to take on a few houses to clean. Um, 
this is maybe two a week at best, not a lot. Um, just because it brought me in money quickly and it was always good to have in a pinch when you needed money to have house cleaning because you get cash and you get it the day of and it made for some you know help pay some bills and so I'll do that on top of my YouTube on top of my patreon on top of my Etsy and try to like do the best I can you know with that I can't ever do a full schedule of cleaning houses again ever that's not possible um, not possible I could never do that again that was so stressful and it was just a lot it was a lot I was working ridiculous hours and yeah it's not a good idea I couldn't do it again my body would never allow it I did it a lot longer than I should have because I was sick last year last year in August not this past August but the one before is when I started getting really sick but or actually I started getting really sick in like July uh, in June, July, I started getting sick, but I pushed through and I kept cleaning on a full-time schedule and it was insane. And I got, I made myself worse. Um, I was very anemic and I was cleaning houses while I was anemic. I felt worse than I do now. Like I was cleaning houses feeling the way I did when I was in, in the hospital this last time when I was really sick, I was cleaning houses because I had to. So I would go and it would take me all day and I'd have to stop and I'd cry and you know, like it was insane, but I had to do it. So I was pushing myself way too far and I could never do that again. But I had a tendency to be a little bit of a workaholic and I've since let go of that because I had no choice. I mean, I put work before anything I would do my, I would, anything was more, you know, nothing was as important as my work to me. And especially when I had my business and I had girls working for me and everything, like I worked nonstop morning, day, night. There was no time to craft around that time. I didn't craft around that time at all because I was, all I did was work. I worked, 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 worked. There was no crafting to do. I never had time. Um, I was always making up because I did my own advertising and so I was always doing different things to get more business and that's how I built my business to be you know it was a pretty successful business you know for that time and then I started getting sick and things just went to pot <laughs> unfortunately that's the way that goes Good night, Rita. Have a good night. All right, let's pick another card. Stencil. I'm going to do some stenciling. This is getting quite busy, but that's okay because I have a plan. I have a stencil I want to use. I was hoping we'd get stencils so I could use it. It's becoming quickly my favorite stencil. I moved all my stencils closer to me. Not all of them, just my small ones. And where is it? Where is it? Come on. Well, that might be a good one, too. Um, all right. I had to move all my stencils because all my small stencils got... Come, oh, here it is on top. My All my small stencils got really, like in the big box of the bigger stencils I have, they got eaten. So I never saw half of my small stencils because they would get, you know, completely annihilated by the bigger stencils and I would just pass them by. A lot of them st got stuck underneath of the, of the bigger ones. And yeah, so it was a hot mess. So I decided to put them in a plastic shoe box so that, and keep them near my desk so that I can find my little stencils. But this stars one is quickly becoming one of my favorites. Hmm. I'm trying to decide if I want to. That one's not going to show up as much. Let's do this one. 
Let's do this one and some, maybe some of this darker red, because I think it'll just give a little kick to what we're doing here. Here's my sponge. I need my sponge. I don't want to put it. We'll just put some of it right here. kind of cute I guess it's hard to see but that's okay that's okay it's okay I'll do it not so dark Let me just do it there we go lighter it's all right it's not as exciting I don't like that one as much for this. <laughs> mm. It's okay. It's all right. It's too busy for this to show up really and to show up with the detail in it. It's just showing up as like lines. show up nice. I like that one. It's one of my favorites. Okay. Move that out of the way so I can clean this. Okay. That's true, Laura. It does take me away. <laughs> That's definitely true. Even if just for a minute or two, you know, when you're working on something. You didn't miss it, Connie. We're in the middle of it. <clears throat> Does anybody need me to slow down? Because I will, but I'm, otherwise I'm going to pick another card. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> you silly ladies. Silly ladies. All right, I'm picking another one. Texture paste. Texture paste. Where's that snow stuff? The stuff that I added more sparkle to. We're going to use that. 
I need to move that wire because seriously, that is going to cause a problem. Oh, it almost looks 3D. <laughs> that's scary. We can use this stencil now. Because that should show up better with the stencil, with the texture paste. Sparkly texture paste that I added more sparkle to. cut into postcards so I want to make sure some of this texture paste gets on every card so we're just going to put it pretty much all over the place Good enough. Now I'm gonna heat gun it to the so that it pops up the little stars.
All right. Sparkly stars. Are you funny, Tammy? <laughs> That's cool, Elizabeth. Yeah, they didn't have to, they, they could be any theme you want. If you wanted to make them Thanksgiving, that's fine. If you want to make them fall or Christmas, or if you want to make them spring and flowers, you know, anything you want, it didn't matter. Okay, I think I'm almost done, but let's pick another card just in case. Use dots. Or add dots. Why do I say use dots? Use dots. Um, let's see. Do I want to put dots? You ain't going to see them. Maybe some black dots because we don't have any black. And maybe we need a little bit of black. Just a little. Just a little. And let's see. What would make some good dots? This would make some good dots. I got these at the Creative Reuse. I'm sure that's not what they're for, but well, we're just going to pounce around some dots just for the fun of it. Dots everywhere. Dots everywhere. Why not? Those are not really dots. <laughs> Those ones are messy. That's all right. Anywhere else we want some dots? Hmm. That's good. Wait, have some here. Good enough. The difference between this and a hair dryer is if you put this up to your hair to dry it, you're going to fry it. You're going to literally burn, literally burn your hair off. You will have no hair. A hair dryer won't do that. This has got, it's much hotter and like, um, like Creative Space says, the air is more concentrated so you can pinpoint it to certain areas. Much hotter though than a hair dryer.
cool. I'll pick some more cards. Add sparkle. Well, we can do that too. I just don't know if I'm gonna... Well, I already got sparkle in here. I better not add any more. But you can if you want. I'm just gonna stop here probably. It's very full and very festive and I like it. Because these, these make good backgrounds for just a postcard or something, an ATC or whatever. And I make, when I make post, when I make postcards, especially I make them really busy so that then that pretty much is the postcard. And then all I have to do is put like a sentiment on it or something and that's it. And then the postcard is done. And there's lots of little things to look at and interest and you can feel all the dimension in it. And... I'll pick another card, doodle or draw, which I really couldn't even do on here if I wanted to. But I think those are all the cards I'll pick, unless somebody has any objections and wants me to pick more for their project if they're working on something. But yeah, I think this will make cool postcards. Because like, here, I'll show you the other ones that I've made. You know, some of the other ones I made See, and I just put a flower and a, and a sentiment on it or whatever. That's all you really need because it's got a lot of a lot of busy stuff going on. And this one, I put a, a flower, I put twinkle and that. But, you know, that's probably even more than enough for these. This one, I put peace and joy. You can see it better in person than you can on video because the video everything's causing a glare but it's a piece of joy and it's got a flower there so that's basically what i'll do to this one too because i need to send out postcards to my patrons <laughs> i don't know about that What's used in nail work? Oh, a nail dotting tool? No, these aren't nail dotting tools. These specifically are different. Nail dotting tools are a lot smaller. These are embossing tools that you use for, like if you have a flower and you take a pad, like a foam pad, and for instance, let's see. So let's say you cut out a flower shape you cut out a flower like punched out a flower but you want it to have some shape to it so you would use these tools um to rub on the flower to create different effects to emboss them you know mostly used with paper so like now this has like a bowl effect it's like bowed out cupped up obviously this is not the right flower for this but if you had regular flower petals that's what you would use these for is to to shape them is what these are for mostly and then you can also emboss like other papers and things with it like um uh what's it called vellum People use these for, and for clay, people use them for clay as well to make dots in the clay and, and, you know, stuff like that for clay as well. Yeah. I mean, these might even be specifically, they're either, you know, they use them for all different things. These might even just be for clay and, but they do make these exact things for flowers and for embossing paper as well. Yeah. You could do a lot of things with them. The nail ones are really small. They're like. They're like that or smaller, like the really tiny ones. And I have some of them. Um, uh, here, these are the nail dotting tools. See, they're much, they've got a much smaller ball on the end. Almost impossible to see it, but yeah, these are the ones for nails. These you can't use to emboss anything because they're so little. You can use this on, on, the, uh, on the vellum too but yeah and i have different sizes of those Which, i don't know where the other one here's a bigger one with some little bit bigger little balls on the end 
yeah, it depends on what you're doing. Yeah, parchment. What did I say? Vellum? Well, yeah, vellum too, but yeah, they use them in parchment too. Well, parchment, I think, are you, are you, D Diana, are you from the UK? Because in the UK, they call parchment what we call vellum. And what we call parchment is cooking paper. Um, so it's weird because the UK calls parchment, it calls vellum. What we call vellum, they call it parchment. And what we call parchment is actually a cooking paper. <laughs> it's weird. It's kind of like the whole football soccer debacle. What they call football, we call soccer, you know. Australia, well, maybe, yeah, maybe they probably call it parchment over there, too. Yeah, they might call vel or, uh, yeah, vellum a parchment. So if you guys want to hang out, I will cut these into postcards and maybe work on one of them while we're here. But as far as mixed media mashup, I think we're done with that. I'm pretty sure we're done with that because I don't need to do any more. I haven't heard anybody else say draw any more cards for any reason, so... Um, let's see. How did I do this last time? I did it so that I can get the most out of these, out of this paper, because they're 15 inches, and I did like, I think I did three, because three, fifteen by, is it 11? So I did, so I can get three, Try six out of this. Well, let's do let's do four inches. I'm gonna do four inches. I don't have to do that for four inches. I may have to do that for the other one though. Let's do four inches. And then I have enough to make an ATC or two out of it. I'll do four inches by four inches. Because this one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do in half. And if it was 11 inches, then it's gonna be five and a half. That'll be a good postcard size. I forget which way I was doing this. Well, either way, this is going to be the 11 side. Yeah. Just cut this to five and a half. No, this isn't a challenge. This is this is postcards that I'm making for my Patreon. No, the challenge number nine will not go up until after the current challenge is over. And it'll go up in the beginning of December. And let's see, four inches. How many can I get out of this? Let's see. Eleven. I do three and a half. Let's see if I do three and a half, which is still big enough. Some of these, most of these, I'm putting in envelopes anyway, because some of them I'll make a little smaller so I can get more out of this paper. Yeah, and I can make some. There we go. That works. 
They don't all have to be humongous postcards. Just as much love goes into each one, but sometimes this one can go a little bigger. There we go. And now I got a good stack of postcards and I don't even waste an ounce. And then I ended up getting out of that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good deal. Eight postcards. Took a little finagling, but that worked. Oh, don't ask me what colors I used. <laughs> I used Christmas colors. Green, blue, red, gold. That's about it. Green, blue, red, and gold. And it's just watercolor paper is what I always use. I always use watercolor paper for my mixed media mashup because it's strong enough and it seems to work better. But, you know, I, oh, that's not true. I have used cereal box too. I can use cereal box sometimes. It's easier for me to keep the, the, the uh, pad of watercolor paper right underneath my desk though than it is for me to keep cereal box underneath of there. Believe. Yeah, I need to make some of these flat because I'm sending some of these overseas so I can't put too much on them dimension wise because otherwise it's going to cost a lot of money to send them. So I've got some flatter embellishments that I embossed and cut out. Yeah, I used all Christmas colors. Um, I think I used blue and blue metallic and gold is metallic and red and green and white and a little bit of black. Just Christmas colors. And some texture paste. But if you want to know exactly what I used um, when we're done, you can go back and rewatch to see the exact colors I used. I need my stick. Where is my stick? There it is. Night, Nana's place. Good night, Carrie. Welcome, Rusty. So I'll do that on that one. Christmas on this one. My 
another sticky, dang sticky hands. Night, Emily. All right, Merry Christmas. So is anybody else making some Christmas decor for their house <clears throat> or whatnot? Good night, Karen. Oh, light up photo frames? That's nice. That's cool. You'll have to share. Did you share pictures in the group? Come on. little eyes because all the little eyes punched out when I die cut that who has tons of phone stamps Oh, the candle holders. Yeah, those are that would be nice, Laura. You can make those as Christmas gifts. You're putting up your tree, Danina. Cool. I hope you show pictures. I'm sure your tree will be beautiful because you do everything very nice, especially decor stuff. Thanks, Sherry. Thank, thank you. And then I stamped and embossed these little ornaments in a couple of different colors. I did it in music paper and so I can use these on my postcards and they'll be pretty flat. I'll just do two. Maybe I'll do red and green. And then I'll put a little glitter going up from there. All right, who stole my Aileen's glue? Oh, there it is. Awesome. And you're all set.
You're doing red and gold, Danina. That's cool. I contemplated doing red and gold on my tree this year, but then I was like, oh, the purple and the blue would look cool. So I just decided to do that. Because this little tree that I have in here, that's with the pink stuff on it, that one I usually do in red and gold or red and silver. Um, and that usually is in my basement. And usually we have a Christmas party every year, and it's a big party. We Well, we used to. And so that tree would be in the basement. And then I used to have another tree that would be in my bedroom in here when it used to be my bedroom. And then I had one in my living room. So I had three full-size trees in my house years ago. I was crazy. And I would, like, I had so many decorations and things. And, ugh, crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy. Not no more. I don't, nobody ever comes to my house anymore, so, you know, once I got sick and, you know, nobody cared to give a crap anymore, none of my friends here, and I just all disappeared, so, screw them, and there's that one. Dry. Well, some another dry from yesterday that I did. The sparkle on this one's dry. <laughs> I put all those stars all over this one. <laughs> That's dry. It's crazy. And this one, I put the sparkle on the little balls on the tree. So all those are dry. is playing loud music. Exactly what I want. No, I don't need them. You're right. You know, when I was sick with cancer and last year, or 2015, actually, um, well, 2015 into 16, not one of them did anything. Like, they didn't come visit, they didn't say, oh, can I do this for you, or nothing, nothing at all, which was pretty amazing. Of all the money I've spent and all the times I've put into throwing these parties and having my friends over and going out and doing this, that, or the other. And, yeah. None of them cared. I'm going to put some little sparkle dots. I'm running out of this color. The diamond is it? Stardust. Yeah, I'm pretty much out of that one. Dang it. That makes me mad. I do have some of the diamond left. Because even though there's some sparkle on here, I want it to twinkle. Since it says twinkle, pretty when it's dry. Put that over there. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, Melissa, that's true. I 
I had colon cancer. It was a high grade neuroendocrine cancer, not your typical colon cancer. It was actually a very, very aggressive cancer, but they found it early. So all I required was surgery and pills that I took. But other than that, that's all. I was very lucky. But the surgery was a lot and I had complications and it took me probably a good six, eight months to really get over that surgery. I had constant complications one after another because it was a pretty major surgery. It was a lot. Bye, Carol. That's true, Elizabeth. That's very true. I'd rather have my poodles than those people who basically just used me and then wanted really nothing to do with being around when the poop hit the fan, you know. Alrighty. I think we're going to end that here because I need to get something to eat so I can take my medicine and I got to do that with food. With food, dude. I hope you guys enjoyed our mixed media mashup for today and our fun little things. Now obviously you can do whatever you want with your mixed media mashup. You can just keep it in a journal if that's what you do, make it into ATCs or whatever. Just have it to look at because it's nice. <laughs> but I will talk to you all later. I'm going to go get something to eat so I can take my pills and relax for a little bit. And, yeah, have a good night, everybody. I'll see you on Friday for sure, but I'm sure you'll see some videos. And I just put up videos right before the live stream, so if you haven't seen them, you can go look at them um, on how to make the Shabby Chic ornament. So there's a two parts to that video, so check that out. And, yeah, good night, everybody. Poodle Pack out. Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy.